The day the psychopathic records changed forever. December 12th, 2012. Ten years has gone by since the day that Twisted left psychopathic records. And I don't think that I ever really made a video with kind of my reaction to that happening. Um, obviously, at that time, I wasn't making YouTube videos. But that singular event kind of snowballed into what eventually inspired me to start making videos here on YouTube. Um, you know, we're coming up on 10 years now. Crazy to think about that, that I've been doing this shit for 10 years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the day that Monoxide went on Twitter and said that they were leaving Psychopathic Records, uh, Jump Steady then goes on the ICP hotline to kind of confirm it. My initial reactions to it was was really like anybody else. I was completely like shocked. I never thought that that was coming. Um, even though, even though, up to that point, there was some things kind of in my head wondering, like, are they starting to grow apart? Um, and there's been a live stream that Monoxide put out recently where he talked about a... Uh, altercation that was had on a dark lotus tour and hearing him talk about that and talk about kind of the timing of it i started to do the math in my head and i'm like this makes sense because if it was on a dark lotus tour i'm gonna guess it was the opaque brotherhood tour uh and the reason why that i'm going to guess that is because i remember for years there would be an icp project that would come out and i was always kind of like um, you know, why is there not an ICP feature on here? It, it seemed almost like Twisted was starting to distance themselves for a little bit. Uh, the reason that I say that is you, you had them not really being as involved in the DJ Clay mixtapes at that point. Obviously, the, the first few mixtapes, the Let Em Bleed mixtapes, came out 2008, 2009, around that area. And my guess or assumption would be that that was all kind of recorded pretty quick. And then from there, Clay did what he did to, to put those out, you know, spaced out apart, you know. So the time frame of 2008, there's an altercation and, you know, Jamie not wanting to go to the studio there for a while just because of what happened. Um, to me, it, it all it all adds up and it all makes sense because ICP wasn't on Wicked. Uh, ICP wasn't on Heartbroken and Homicidal. Um it, it took until 2011 before ICP and Twisted would do shit together again on the Cryptic Collection 4. Uh, Give Me More, which to me, when I heard that song, part of why I love that song so much is I hear it and I'm like, yes, they're finally back together. Because it seemed like they were distancing themselves for a little bit. And at that time, I was kind of like, maybe they're just busy. Maybe because ICP is always on tour or Twisted's on tour when ICP is not like... I kind of justified it at the time of maybe that was what was going on. But hearing Monoxide's story, it all kind of, it kind of makes sense and it kind of adds up. So when Twisted announced that they left Psychopathic, like, I was totally shocked. Because I was already starting to have those thoughts of, are they growing apart? What happens when they no longer get along? What happens if a time ever comes that, that Jay and Shaggy don't get along? And that one there still sticks in the back of my mind to this day just because... You know, there's been a lot more people that have come out and said, you know, working with Jay is difficult. And, you know, once you once you peek behind the curtain, it's not, you know, all glitz and glamour. So, no, you know, don't meet your heroes. There's been a lot more of that kind of happening. And I'm like, yo, what happens if one day Shaggy kind of wakes up? And he's like, you know, I think I'm done. Not, I don't think that ever would happen, but it's out, it's on my mind. It is on my mind. But uh, Twisted's initial announcement, I was like, God damn, like my head immediately went to what does this mean for Dark Lotus? What does this mean for Psychopathic Riders? What does this mean for The Gathering? What does this mean? Going forward, it was like all these what ifs or, you know, what's going to happen kind of things. Um, you know, and I think that was part of why Jump Steady put out the hotline message that he did. And you can actually go find that. Fago Lovers has it on their YouTube. Um, I think if you just go search on YouTube, Twisted Leave Psychopathic, it's it's in like the top results. Uh, but you can hear Jump Steady go in there and just kind of confirm that there's no bad blood, or uh, assumably from his point of view, because none of us knew what the fuck was happening. And I'm saying it like that. I'm saying like none of us knew, and I'm saying it in just in the, the general broad spectrum of 
jugglos in general, whether you were listening at the time or not, whether you'd kind of taken some time off. Cause I know there's some, there's some content creators out there that have, you know, had said that they kind of stepped away from the scene for a little bit. I'm talking deck one Uh, there's another content creator, uh, who has also said that he dropped the hatchet for a long time and recently came back. So I'm kind of speaking like almost to them, but I'm just kind of speaking in general, like we as jugglos, none of us knew what the fuck was going on. None of us, you know, was it bad blood? Why are they leaving? You know, did something happen? What the fuck is going on? And so many other what ifs of like, what does this mean for this? What does this mean for that? And I know there's probably going to be a lot of comments of like, oh yeah, this was when Twisted was trying to fucking break away from ICP and didn't want anything to do with Juggalos. And I never once ever thought that. Um, and looking back on it now, to me, it makes, um, it makes sense. It's kind of like you have this association with somebody and now you want to go make it on your own and rather than pander to that you want to kind of go try to make it on your own and start it on your own without seeming like you're pandering and that to me is very respectful to just like do that and then as time went on they realized like that's just dumb like why are we trying to pull away from something that you know is a huge part of what we are you know what i mean so that's why i see them a lot more now like coming back and like you know juggalo love and you know what I mean? I think they, at one point, were trying to kind of not pander. And when they realized, like, we don't need to be like this. Like, if we continue to roll with jugglos and psychopathic and, you know, associate with our past, like, it's not pandering. It's it's us. You know what I mean? We are who we are because of this. And I think that was them kind of acknowledging that. I know people do not agree with that. A lot of people still have a lot of hate in their hearts. That's fine. That's you. This this is me. That's my thoughts. That's what I think about it. Um, so, you know, going from that point, like not knowing what was to come, like why they left, it, it definitely raised a lot of questions. And I think that to me is why I say it really started the, the, the cracks in the divide is because prior to that, you know, you had a lot of people that were already like, yo, I discovered Twisted first and ICP's all right, but I really like Twisted. Like this was going on way before they ever left Psychopathic Records. There were people that were coming into the scene, just like there are people coming into the scene now because of Ouija Mac. And I guarantee you right now, if Ouija Mac and, and ICP were to ever to have bad blood, there's a lot of motherfuckers that are going to side with Ouija Mac and be like, fuck ICP, even though they're all on this, you know, Save J bandwagon right now they're on that bandwagon because of ouija mac and i guarantee you if they, if there's bad blood they're gone too so um the divide was was really already cracking and forming there because people were coming in discovering twisted and like yo there's this whole fucking community here this is fucking awesome so when twisted left it, it, it kind of was like that was the first cracks of the divide right there and uh, again they were already starting to form prior to that just because of you know, you come in and you're like, yo, these guys are dope. They leave Psychopathic and then it's kind of like, well, there's nobody really left on Psychopathic that I like. So I'm rolling with these guys to the point that eventually five years later, when everything that happened happened, it's like, yo, I'm with you. Fuck you. And then these guys are like, I'm with them. Fuck you. And then there's everybody else down here in the bottom of the divide. Like, I can hear music. It's still really dope. You guys are killing it. Keep it up, you know. We're down here in the middle. We're in the middle. And I know at one point, you know, I climbed out of that, that canyon and I was on this side over here. Like, yo, what you guys are doing is whack. And then, you know, I start to realize like on this side of the fucking, on this side of the device, like, you know, this side looks a lot like this side. So I'm, I'm going to come hang out down here because it seems like it's a little less like rocks are being thrown back and forth. And I think it's safer down in the valley. There's not as many rocks, you know, every now and again, you get a rock that tumbles down. It's like, fuck you, Jeff. You still, you listen to both. Fuck you. You know, occasionally there's still rocks coming down and dropping, but overall it's a lot safer because catapults aren't directly launching at you. So, um... I don't even know what this video has really become about. <laughs> I've rambled on like crazy, but yeah, just kind of wanted to to put on put out this little video to kind of uh, I guess give what what were my thoughts and, and my reactions to Twisted announcing that they were leaving. Like I was just as blown away by so many people, and I was ultimately kind of shocked as well because 
it to me it felt like this uh, there was distance between twisted and icp and then they were starting to come back together you know they did cryptic collection they did give me more on cryptic collection four they fucking went on a great ass fucking tour the american psychos tour and i i absolutely had to go to that tour because at that time i had never seen twisted live um you know I, that was a tour I absolutely had to go to because just to me it was like yes they're back together they're kind of really unified now uh ICP was on Twisted's Abominations Twisted was on Mighty Death Pop even though technically it was the Mikey Clark Extra Pop Emporium but you know they were still part of that album like it seemed like things were getting better and good and there wasn't as much distance there wasn't as much pulling away and then suddenly to get hit with that bomb of and then the cherry on top Right around that time, and if you go listen to that hotline with Jump Steady talking about Twisted Leaving, he immediately goes right into the news and starts talking about the American Psycho Tour documentary. So he brings up this amazing tour that they went on and talks about this documentary they put out with a fucking scene that to this day is so soul crushing to me. The Insane Clown Donuts. Twisted went out, had some donuts made that were just like Jay and ICP took it to them they fucking exchanged hugs that fucking scene is so goddamn heartbreaking and by the time we ever got to see it on the documentary twisted had already left and there were all these questions of what is going on um you know that that documentary is so heartbreaking anymore to watch just because of the timing of it all and i i don't know that i've ever really fully talked about this before but actually, the album Abominations is such a bittersweet album to me because, you know, a lot of the issues that they had that ultimately caused them to leave Psychopathic Records really kind of came from that release. So I almost have a love-hate relationship with Abominations. There's the fact that that became the catalyst of why they left Psychopathic Records. And then ultimately, on the same hand, there's, there's so many people that love and praise that album. And... During the early stages of Twisted leaving Psychopathic, the people that were on Twisted's side were really quick to say, yo, Abominations is amazing. It's way better than Mighty Death Pop. There was all this like bickering about who had the better album in 2012. It's like, yo, I enjoy both. And that that's, that's kind of been my stance. Since I started making YouTube videos, it's like, yo, I, I just, I love everything. <laughs> I'm the guy that you really can't trust his reviews because he just fucking loves everything. So every now and again, when you find the album that he doesn't like, uh, you know it's probably not a great album or it's not his cup of tea because that happens a lot too. But yeah, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with Abominations just because of, of it being that catalyst that, that, that caused them to leave. But yeah, it, it, it definitely was a big blow. And that to me, and I, I had kind of, I commented this on the episode um, from Deck One Dealt when they were reviewing Mud, Water, Air, and Blood. They were kind of talking about like uh, the album. And I just left a comment like, this album was so huge just because Twisted left. There was all these big what ifs. What's going to happen? Is, is Dark Lotus dead? And I still, and I'm getting chills right now just even thinking and talking about it. I still fucking remember Juggalo Day 2014. All of their social medias, you just see that silhouette. And it was like, oh my fucking God, they're fucking still doing it. Even though they were apart, it was just such a big fucking announcement to get. And that's why that album to me still holds such a great dear memory. And I know, I know there's some controversy surrounding its uh, creation. You know, the fact that Twisted wanted masters to do it, which is still a form of payment. ICP never should have agreed to those terms. I, they should have written a contract out, you know, we equally put in an X amount of money and we'll just mass produce your albums, let you stick your Magic Ninja on there so that way you guys can build a catalog to do your thing. We still get a percentage of what you guys are doing. Like There could have been a happy marriage or there may not have. You know, Maybe that would have made Twisted say, fuck you. I, I don't know. I just think that to say, oh, they twisted our arms about the Masters, I, I don't know. I think they were, you know, Jay said in, this, in their interview that, they wanted to keep the family together. They didn't want Juggalos to think there was bad blood between them. So they just kind of took these hits. <sighs> Maybe they shouldn't have. Maybe they shouldn't have. Because it kind of ultimately I feel strung us along for a little bit. That everything was good. Just to find out everything wasn't good. And it was like, it was very confusing. And I, for me, for years struggled with that. Because 
I wanted to side with ICP because I felt I felt betrayed, but it it didn't even happen to me. I I just ultimately felt betrayed by it, and I, it was real easy to kind of uh, sympathize and empathize with ICP side of it when it comes to their business dealings and that and the way Twisted you know ultimately was acting towards fans and and the whole March situation was why I kind of was like, yo, I don't know who you guys are. They eventually they essentially just kind of became the villain. They were being so attacked and. You know, they became the villain. And so that was kind of where I was like, yo, I am I think I'm done for a little bit. But I had to go clear my headspace and, and start to see things better from their point of view. I don't, I still don't fully agree with the way that they handled things. But I also understand that they were put in a really fucking tough spot. And if I was in their position, I can't say that I would have done it this way or this way or that way, you know. Um, I am off on a hell of a tangent but yeah that that was my reactions to twisted leaving and the statement whether you think it's exaggerated or it's clickbait or not it, it's a strong it's a strong true statement that psychopathic records did change it did forever change when twisted left because you know they were such they were so good for each other like psychopathic records was the shit for so many fucking years and Twisted was a part of that. Blaze was a part of that. ABK, at different points, was part of that. Boondocks was part of that. Like, anybody that's ever been on Psychopathic Records are a contributing factor to why Psychopathic Records was such a fucking powerful entity in the underground and continues to be to this day. You know, even if it's just ICP now and, you know, affiliates. So uh, I think not enough people recognize that. I think it's just too quick to say that, you know, Twisted Blaze, whoever, they wouldn't have a career if it wasn't for ICP. Well, Psychopathic Records would not have been what it was if it wasn't for Twisted. So it, it goes both ways. Like ICP would have done fine without Psychopathic Records becoming the monster that it did. But you have to admit, it, Psychopathic Records would not have been anything that it is now if it wasn't for... 1998 to 2012 everything that it became there were so many factors there were so many contributing people so uh, we need more acknowledgement on that i feel again i'm off on a tangent i'm gonna end it off on saying that you know while things changed i still think that you know there's I think there's resolve in the future. It's just going to take level heads to you'll know, really sit down and just kind of let go of, of 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 hard feelings. And you know, if you never can let go of hard feelings, maybe not. You know, wor not worry so much about what other people are doing and just do what you're doing and just focus on yourself and and, and making an impact yourself. You know, we need we need less like worrying about what other people are doing and more focusing on what you're doing to contribute to uh, uh, a strong community or a happy community. And I say that because there's a lot of drama. <laughs> there's a lot of drama right now. There's a lot of drama right now. But yeah, I want to come on here and just kind of talk about my initial reactions to Twisted Leaving Psychopathic Records. Again, shocked, completely shocked because it it felt like there was some distancing for a while and then they came back together just to get hit with that. It was, it was, it really was a hit to the gut. So yeah. Anyway, tell me down below, what was your guys' reaction when you saw that tweet? You know, uh, yeah, just leave those comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.